Hi guys, welcome to this uh, new tutorial on advanced beam techniques in Rhino. Today we're going to be looking at how to uh, draw plans in a non-destructive way. Uh, first of all, I want to give you a very short introduction on the way I usually uh, divide the uh, project. Um, what I basically do, I work around the 3D model. My 3D models, I try to make them as detailed as, as possible so that they can carry as much information um, to then, you know, transform it into 2D drawings so a lot, a lot of 3D information to them uh, be transformed in 2D information so what I do, I create different folders for the different levels, different sections so let's just get started, let me fire up uh, Rhino we have our model here what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be go to the left or front view to zoom extent we're gonna select everything and we're gonna be using this ArcCut plugin create a section basically it's gonna, what's gonna do is gonna cut a section through the building uh, horizontally this way we'll create a plan then we're gonna go to the top view we're gonna ask to view the section which basically in this case it's a plan then I'm gonna go to the uh, viewport tab and choose technical technical it's an another plugin that is for free you can download it from, from the MacNeil site and you can, as you can see we have our plan here now what I usually don't do I do not um, put walls and doors because that really makes the model very heavy and very hard to manage but uh, what I do I put these things uh, I represent them 2D and to do that I'm just gonna go to uh, make 2D select the viewport so I just click in the viewport and okay the plan should be created there we go so what I do now, I'm just gonna bring the plan away from the model and I'm gonna say file export selected then I'm gonna go to the file of my um, model, plan level 1 and I'm gonna just override this one, block plan 1 save, yeah I wanna save it then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Rhino open a new blank file and once again I'm gonna say edit blocks insert block instance file block plan 1 open uh, I'm not gonna prompt it and OK and now my plan should be here what you can do, you can center the plan, put it somewhere where you need it and then you can of course start to draw your walls say offset, both sides, distance is ok there it is, and we got a wall so now let's say that you know our model changes we're gonna go back to this um, version and we're gonna let's say take the lift we rotate it just for the sake of it of course we're gonna say update section and then we're gonna also say make 2D again and there it is this is another plan that has been created now f just for convenience I'm gonna group this plan move it over here oh, what happens now that it also another uh, 2D view of the other plan has been created so I need to ungroup 
select this plant, delete it. Then I'm gonna select this plant. And group it. And I'm gonna select this and group it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it right on top of this. Maybe also create another layer and call it Plan Option 2. And then change the layer so that we have the other plan that it's underneath it's basically not visible yeah and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this plan say file export selected block plan option one save it says that it already exists I just override it then I'm gonna go to my old drawing and then I'm gonna say edit blocks block manager select my block properties brass take the other option that I just created okay update okay close and there it is so the uh, main model stays the same and this plan is created now what we can do to make the um, 3D model lighter, we can just deselect this, switch off the layer, and we can keep working on our model like if nothing happened. So this is a known destructive way of creating plants. Um, I hope you did understand the reason why I create all these folders. If you have any doubts or any suggestion, just uh, post a comment and I'll be uh, happy to take a look at these comments, uh, have maybe a discussion and see uh, what we can do. Okay, thank you for watching, bye bye.